Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Tariq and Beast here. And um, I just thought I'd make another video. Speaking about uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies. Yeah, I know, I know. Infinite Warfare has been looked at as one of the uh, the most retarded and stupid and broken Call of Duty games ever, ever made. Like, ever. But, um... There are some good things about the zombies, and there are also some bad things about the zombies, man. And I'm here to cover the bad things right now. Uh, I might do, I may do a video in the future, maybe when DLC 3 comes out, regarding the good things about the Infinite Warfare zombies. But, um, you know, right now I'm just gonna cover like, the top three or four things that I hate about the zombies, man. Uh, and the good thing is about it is that, um, well, within zombies is that they, uh, they finally included a progression bar that you can actually see when you're, uh, you know, when you're in game. You know, before then, like, I guess like two weeks before I'm about to upload this, there was no like progression bar for you to like know when you're gonna level up, which is really, really annoying because I like to know when I'm gonna level up, and if I know that I'm not gonna level up, level up this game, you know, I I probably won't try as hard, but. If I do, if I do realize that I'm about to level up right there, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna push forward, you know, kill as many zombies, train, you know, the usual when you're playing zombies, you know, Call of Duty zombies for that matter, you know. But uh, they finally fixed it. And if you and if you press pause, it's like in the the bottom left corner, it's like um a little circular bar wrapped around your level and your icon as well. You know? They finally added added that, and that's good. So um, number one on my list right now has to be that um, once you're finished with the Easter egg, you do not get anything very rewarding. Now, what I mean by that is that um, it, it's not really special in my opinion. Cause like, uh, I remember uh, Zombies in Spaceland, you got the ability to upgrade your special, well, you got the ability to upgrade your um, your Wonder we Weapon, which was like, that, that should have been like before the Easter egg or anything. Like that doesn't feel like, uh, um, much of a reward, especially if you come from Churg Zombies. Like they, when they include like Wonder Weapons, there's always a way to like upgrade it before the Easter Egg. That's not their gift at all. Their gift is usually like giving you all perks, man. And probably something else that I can't really remember right now. Oh yeah, well if you did all the Easter Eggs, that was there was that where you got like the RK5 and and uh, a couple of other stuff as well. But um. You don't even get like all the perks in game in, in Infinite Warfare Zombies, which is annoying because the Easter egg bosses are well, they're pretty easy, but if you're like if it's like the first time you're like you're playing against them and you don't know what to do, like me and my friend uh, Sir Dev and my other friend Jordan, when we were playing through it, we were struggling because like we didn't know what to do, so we had to like, you know, figure out, you know, how to do this and you know stuff like that. Because like the way we, you know, we do things with Easter egg is that we don't want to look up things. We want to see what we can find before we go out and look up things. And out of nowhere, you know, we <laughs> we wind up getting to the end of the Easter egg because you know the, end of the Easter egg is pretty simple on it. But um, I, I think that one thing they could have did was you know include like all the perks once you complete the Easter egg because that's like come on now that's like one number like the number one thing you should like include after you complete you know Easter egg. So that's that. Uh, the second thing is that after you revive somebody you do not get points at all. You get XP, but you do not get points. And I feel like that's like like a big downfall because if I don't revive them, they take a huge amount of points away from me. Like, cause I'm, I'm like the type of person, you know, who stays high rouse and, you know, likes to rack up on the points and stuff. But there's, you know, one of my friends or even me, we're bound to get down, you know? And if we're too far away to revive that person, he's gonna die, like no matter what. But for some odd reason, once they die, they take the money, they take some money from us, like a certain percentage away from the person, everybody who's alive. But if you do revive them, you you get no money. Like that doesn't make any sense at all. Like I get that you, you know, you get XP. Yeah, great. I'm glad that you included that. But like, I want money. I want to spend some more money to get some more ammo or upgrade another weapon or get more cards so I can, you know, refill my stash, you know, but they don't have that. I kind of wish that they included that, but they didn't. So, you know, if you if they're listening to this, please add some points when you revive people, man. Please. Uh, number three, it would probably have to be that the weapons in this game 
well the weapons in infinite warfare zombies get weak pretty quickly i'm talking like back in like treyarch zombies i wouldn't even upgrade until like round 25 and above like upgrading my weapon was not something that i i like really paid attention to like toward, toward the early rounds like i didn't really care for it because my gun was strong already and it was like a gun that could kill these zombies easily but in this one these guns get weak really really quick i'm talking like round 15 round 16 and, and above that it just get weaker and weaker and weaker and that's you have to pack a punch you know it's it's one thing you have to do like by around 15 or 16 and definitely above you know it's just i feel like the guns just got are just weak right now i, I don't know you know, I'm not complaining about it, you know, me dying because I, come on now, I, I have my ways around, you know, playing zombies, but that's not what I'm complaining about. I'm just complaining about the guns being weak. That's that's all during the uh, early rounds because one is the early rounds. So, yeah, uh, my fourth one would have to be mm, the magic wheel, the magic box, whatever you call it. This thing takes forever to give you your gun. Like, I, I remember one time I was, you know, training zombies and I was like, all right, cool. I, I want to I want to get like a new gun out of this box. So I walk up to it and it just it just took at least 10 to 15 seconds, like tops, like 15 seconds top. And I'm just waiting on this weapon and, and it finally comes out. And I'm like, I, I don't even want it anymore. I'm going to just go get a wall weapon. I, like, honestly, I'm more like uh, you, you would see me grabbing weapons off the wall then off the box and infinite warfare zombies just because of like how like inconvenient the box can be as far as like you getting your weapon in time before these zombies just come piling up on you and just slap you in the face every single like second like it's just annoying you know and these honestly these zombies are like they're pretty tough they're, they're way tougher than uh Trek zombies i would say that you know but um i, I just i don't know I, I just don't feel like that um, that that box is like fast enough with, with the weapons, man. It's really annoying too. Uh, there's a lot of other things I wanted to cover too, as far as like what I like really hate. But one thing I got took off the list was that progression bar because it wasn't even on there at first. It really wasn't, you know. Um, so uh, <laughs> that's pretty much my, like my four top things that I hate about the Infinite Warfare Zombies, man. Cause like. Other than that, it's just, it's actually more, but like, it's, it, has, it has to do with like bugs and glitches and stuff like that. But, you know, I have to remember that this is a game, you know, every game has a glitch, it has glitches, man, you know. And uh, I remember back in like Zombies in Spaceland, when you like, uh, when you finally get to like the Pack-A-Punch area and you release those spaceships, the way that they come out, it just does not look official at all. Like, it just doesn't. It looks really glitchy. It looks like it's unfinished. Like if you're gonna have those spaceships come out of they act they came out of nowhere and it looked so bad. And I wish that they changed it. And it, you know, it may seem like really significantly small, but like to me when I saw that, I was like, uh, that just that just threw me off a little bit. You know. But um yeah, that was just uh the four things that I really hate about um Infinite Warfare the Zombies, man. Um this gameplay man i'm sorry I, this this game mode kind of pissed me off man well not game mode this match pissed me off before then when i was playing four people man it was just annoying because they all kept dying so i had to quit so you know you know you never want to carry the team on you kind of want to carry it with your team all right thanks for watching guys subscribe like comment see you